Welcome. Today we're going to assemble a Skywatcher Dobsonian telescope. Uh, this model is one of the 10 inch collapsible, but the uh, same principle will apply for all of the uh, 6, 8, 10 and 12 inch models. The telescope comes in two boxes. The main box is the telescope tube or OTA and in the flat box is uh, the base. So first of all, let's see what's inside the main box. Inside the main box is a small box which has all the accessories inside. So that will include our uh, finder scope, uh, two eyepieces, and uh, a few adapters. We have the bracket for the finder scope, an extension tube, and the one and a quarter inch to two inch adapter for the uh, focuser. So let's put those aside for when we finish assembling. take out the packing and we can take out our main telescope tube and we're going to put that aside for later on. So the flat box is the base of the telescope. Inside, find two round circular base pads, we'll come back to those and we'll have three sides. We'll have the back plate and the two side plates. Look like this. And there were a number of fixings in the bag as well. And with some extra tools. Refer to the parts list for all the detail of all the fixings and we'll step our way through them. The first stage is to, we will assemble the back unit with the two sides. Um, you'll look at the face of the back unit. On one side there are three small little holes and that will be the outside of the mount. So let's put, fix the uh, side units um, onto the back unit using uh, the big black screws. And there is included uh, Allen key in the box to help do that. And we'll repeat for the other side. For step two we'll take one half of the base unit, the part labelled uh, number C in the parts list, and it's the one with all the holes in it. We're going to fix that onto the sides of our base unit. and screw those into the matching holes on the base. For the next step we're going to attach the feet to the other base circle which is labelled part D in the parts list. And there are three small holes on the bottom side. I'll take the feet and attach those. So, step four, we're going to attach the uh, bottom unit to the main unit. And in package two of the fixings, there was a black tube, a plastic tube, a Teflon washer, uh, a big bolt with a nut and two metal washers. So firstly, let's put the plastic tube in th through the hole, this way. We're going to put the Teflon washer on that, so it's in between the two layers and we'll bring the base up and through the hole. Then with the main bolt, washer on the bottom side, through the hole, washer on the other side, 
and the nut on top. So we use the two included spanners to hold on each side and tighten up. Tightening so it is not too tight, but not too loose, so that when the unit is right way up, it spins easily, but not too freely. Next stage is to attach the handle to the back of the base. Uh, the black handle has two included bolts in, and we'll use the large supplied Allen key. Place the bolts through the holes and just screw in to tighten. Next we'll attach the accessories tray or eyepiece tray to the back of the unit. Uh, this is an optional, some people like it, some people don't bother. The unit goes onto the three screw, screw holes on the back plate there. And it goes this way up. The next step is to attach the uh, small side bearings to the base unit looking like that. Take the screw out and put the screw through the panel from this side and the side bearing attaching into the lock nut this side. If necessary you can tighten with a screwdriver. Repeat on all four. And now our base is assembled, ready to add the telescope. So let's do that. Now we can add our telescope tube to the base. So we've unpacked it from its uh, packaging and we can mount it on. Uh, in this case the collapse was designed but the solid tube will work the similar way. So we're going to lift the telescope tube so that these uh, big round uh, circles on the side here, the side units, are going to rest and sit onto our uh, two little um, side bearing uh, knobs there. So let's lift in and we'll show you. Hold up by the solid piece of the side and carefully place in so it just rests on those units. And lastly we're going to add the two handles, uh, the side handles. The one has the uh, tension side on, which has the two washers with the bearing washer, and the other side not. So we're going to put the one on the without the washers on the side far from the focuser. So over this side, just screw in. have to be too tight. And then on the other side, the same side as the focuser unit, we're going to place the handle with the uh, washers unit on. And that'll be our tension handle side. Screw in until, not so it's too tight, if it's too tight the tube won't rock. You want to loosen off a bit so the tube can rotate on that axis on the altitude axis. When you want to fix it, when you're observing it, you can just tighten the tension up. For 
our uh, collapsible unit, we can extend the unit out to its full length for viewing. There are three uh, lock units on a triangular unit, and we'll put it vertical for this, and grab the handles, we can raise it up to full length, and then re-tighten. There is a soft cover on this unit on the top of the unit and a hard cover for the particular mirror from dust at the bottom here. On this unit, if you look inside, you take the soft cover off, you'll see the secondary mirror has been wrapped for protection. You'll need to carefully remove this wrapping uh, before you start observing. Um, it's just there for packaging. Lastly, we're going to add the a one and a quarter inch to two inch adapter to the uh, focuser and then we'll add the finder. So the one and a quarter inch to two inch adapter just slots straight into the like that and tighten in. I recommend leaving it attached in as it has the dust cap on and so when you're not using the telescope it will protect it from the dust getting into the system. Now the finder unit. The finder comes with the finder tube and a rubber o-ring, slide the o-ring over the end of the finder tube, like so, into the groove that's in the central part of the finder. You can rest there. Take the finder ba uh, bracket base like that. The finder bracket has uh, two screws for your adjustments and a spring on the far side. So we'll screw out the screws so that loose, we can slot the finder tube into the bracket and we're going to do that from uh, this way around. So the screws are at the eyepiece end of the finder. Slide in, we're going to pull the spring out, and you'll see it's the top end slides across the o-ring and then using the adjustment screws For when you're actually ready to align the finder for your viewing, uh, take a look at our video on using your Dobsonian telescope to get an idea of how to do this. The finder scope and bracket can then slide into the telescope onto the base unit there, like so, tighten in. When you're not using the telescope, we want to transport it or pack it away, you can easily drop the finder scope out and transport separately. Now our Skywatcher Dobsonian telescope is all assembled and ready to use. Included in your package is a 2 inch extension tube, looking like that. If you need, it, need that, you'll just slide it into the focuser. Also included is uh, two eyepieces, a 25mm Plossil eyepiece and a 10mm Plossil eyepiece. The 25mm will give you a lower power, wider angle field of view, great for viewing clusters of stars. The 10mm eyepiece will give you a higher magnification, uh, smaller field of view, good for looking at planets and close up looks at the moon. To use the eyepiece, I can take the dust cap off the focuser, uh, take the caps off the eyepiece Recommend when you're not using the eyepieces to keep the caps on. This will protect them from dirt and dust and fingers. On the eyepieces themselves, you never want to touch the optical surfaces, so be careful not to do that. Take the covers off, insert the eyepiece into the focuser, tighten the screws, and then you can turn the focuser to the object that changes into focus. A star when it is in focus will be a point of light or a planet or the moon will be obviously a, a nice sharp image. If you change eyepieces, you may need to change focus. 
Enjoy your spewing of the night sky through your Skywatcher Dobsonian telescope.